Okay, I'm going to begin my look inside of this OS FS 95V engine. I've already kind of pre loosened this exhaust because it looks so nasty. It's going to straight into some LA's totally awesome cleaner. Let's see if I can't get most of that stuff off of there. I don't think this pipe needs to go or header, but that all is going in. Shove that down in there. Okay. Let's start with our rocker covers here. This is the first time I've ever owned one of these newer style OS four stroke engines, so this is going to be kind of a new thing for me. I bought this from a fellow modeler, RC Groups member that lives about 40 miles south of my location. First time I've ever bought anything from him, but somebody I have bought from before knows him and kind of gave me an inside scoop on this engine. So. That looks pretty promising so far. Looks nice and clean there. Those of you that watched the, my quick look video, and for those that didn't, the carb throttle barrel is totally stuck. <clears throat> okay, so this is interesting. So you see this exhaust, exhaust rocker has a lot of oil and stuff in it. And because of the fact that this one is totally dry and the way that exhaust looks, this tells me that this was a side-mounted installation. It does have really good compression. Clearly a used engine. Let's see here. Next, I think I want to see if I can't get this... long extension off of here. Alright, that helps out. Let's take the glow plug out here. Looks like an OSF plug. Amazingly, do I have a flashlight? Amazingly, it doesn't look like the piston. I don't know if I can get this angle right there or not. It doesn't look like the piston is black. Piston is definitely not black, so that's an interesting thing because I have no idea how much runtime this engine has on it. Obviously, it's a run engine with good compression, but. It's hard to tell by looking at an exhaust because that could have been set extremely rich and all that stuff came out and really made it look bad. So that's what I'm working with right now is it looks like it's a, you know, it doesn't have three gallons through it anyway. Uh, let's see here. Oh, great. <clears throat> the famous Japanese soft head cross point screws. Gotta love these things. Very common to strip these things out if you don't have the right, right uh, cross point head and or enough force. Luckily these didn't start to strip so I'm in good shape there. I won't have to replace these screws. Interesting to see if there's a gasket on this intake manifold, and if there is, if it survives. Okay, so I had a person comment on one of my videos not long ago about gaskets and how they, I was doing kind of a semi rant about how people put silicone stuff around these things and seal them up. 
And I said, well, you know, OS has a, a real tendency of not doing that because they have nicely precision ground surfaces, and apparently this is another case in point. There's no O-ring or no gasket on this thing, and yet it probably seals perfectly. So the fact that this person just automatically always puts silicone around, you know, these types of things is kind of ridiculous because if you design an engine properly, you don't need to do that. Got a nice O-ring here. And with as little use as this has gotten, it's really kind of puzzling as to why... That throttle barrel doesn't rotate, but that's easily fixed or easily remedied because I can just drop some oil in there and maybe just go and apply a little bit of heat to it. I'll let that sit for a little bit. In fact, this intake manifold has got some pretty heavy discoloration here. I don't know if that's something I'm going to be able to buff out or not. But we're going to try. <clears throat> I didn't get a parts bin here ready. I should have. So I'll start putting these parts in a bin here. Okay. Again, removal of the head here. I see one, two, three, four screws. I don't see any other screws underneath here, so I'm assuming that's all there is. I'll make sure I got good engagement. Okay, that wasn't overly torqued. This one's kind of in a strange area. Hear a little squeaking on upon loosening these. I have no idea if I'm the first person in this engine or not. I don't think I'll be able to tell for sure, but this is unusual for me to actually be disassembling an engine that's as new as this one is, being that this came out, this engine came out in 2011, so this engine is obviously not any older than six years. Uh, most of the engines I'm buying and tearing apart are much older than that, so. There's our head. There's a rocker arm. Wow, there's a lot of oil. And another rocker arm. One thing I want to look at here real quick is these rocker or push rod covers are pretty interesting because they're lightweight aluminum and they're really machined to a nice shape and they look really nice and awesome. Oh, it's really spent some time and money just doing that, whereas most Sados are just a straight tube with a little lip on each end. Um, not sure that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. Let's look at these push rods. And hopefully they're both the same length. Yep, both push rods look to be the same length. They're not... They're symmetrical. Meaning they have the same flat or you know same end shape on each side, so we can mix those up. So here's the top of the piston. Looks clean as a whistle. Had it not been for the car being frozen up, I probably could have just done a box of the bench on this. But well, we've already gone this far. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a reveal on the valves. Because <clears throat> I've seen too many times with four-stroke engine that you can have a really nice-looking clean piston. And that doesn't really tell you anything about how much runtime it's got. It's really the valves that tell you a little bit more about how much runtime we've got here. So let me dump these screws. Where's that other screw at? Okay, let's look at our valves here. 
the all-important reveal. Very nice. Not bad at all. Exhaust valve. I can feel a little bit of carbon residue on it. <coughs> Intake valve. Looks basically brand new. This is a pretty low runtime engine in my opinion. Let's see if I can shine a light down here. Look at this exhaust valve stem. 